Welcome to a new Autodesk Eagle tutorial. Today, we'll be learning how to set up a layer stack up for a multi-layer PCB design. Transition points for your traces are commonly known as a via. To modify the layer stack up, click on the DRC icon and select the Layers tab. You'll notice that the default setup is for a two-layer circuit board. It is possible that you will require more layers because of the density of your design or because your design requires to be smaller. To add a signal layer, please click on the drop down layer selection. From here, you can select your layer pair that you'll be using for your design. Notice you could select a four layer, six layer, eight layer options. The diagram on the top left corner will update according to your setup. You will also notice that your formula setup will also update as well. Please notice when you select the four layer option, the formula setup will automatically update. The plus and the asterisk symbols represent the type of material that will be used in between the layers. The plus sign is for prepreg, while the asterisk is for core material. The default via setup will always have a distance between the exterior layers. With a four layer setup, we can explore some additional alternatives. To save real estate space, on one of the surfaces of the PCB, we can define points of transitions from one of the external layers to the internal layers. This is referred as a blind via. The blind via setup can be used from the top layer to the internal layer or from the bottom layer to one of the interior layers. A buried via is a point of transition between internal layers. Please notice that as we make these changes, the setup formula updates every time. With this newly defined layer stack up, we're going to apply these changes and cancel from the DRC screen and do some manual routing on a board to see how to use the stack up. Take advantage of the newly created layers. I need to use the display settings and make sure that they are displayed. Now that they're displayed, I'll go ahead and click on the route command and begin routing from one of the surface mounted pads. To cycle through the defined layers, I'm going to use the space bar. As you could see, a via now appears attached to my mouse cursor. Down on the status bar, I could tell which layer is going to follow if I continue routing using this via. I'll left click to place the via and move my mouse to continue routing. As you could see, now I'm actually on layer two. I'll hit the space bar one more time to cycle to layer 15. I'll left click to place that via and continue routing. I'm gonna do one more cycle and go back to the top layer to finish my route. Hit the space bar once. I'll left click to place the via and finish my route. Now, I'm going to perform the exact same exercise on another signal, but this time, instead of using the space bar, I'm going to go ahead and cycle through my layers using the middle mouse button. As you can see, I press the middle mouse button, I select layer two, the via is now attached to my mouse cursor. I can left click to place it. Now I like to cycle to another layer. In this case, we'll go to the bottom layer. I'll click OK. The via appears on my mouse cursor. When I left click, now I'll be routing on another layer. Now I want to return back to the top layer. I select the middle mouse button, select the top layer, which I want to cycle to, and finish my route. Thank you for joining me. And have a great day.